For our chair hip flex and quad stretch, we're going to turn to the side on the chair and hold onto the back of the chair. So take your right butt cheek and make sure that that's on the chair. The left one can be off. So you take your left leg back. At first, keep 90 degrees at your knee joints just to keep the joints safe. See how that feels. You might feel enough of a stretch there. If not, if you need to get more of a stretch into this back leg, walk your left leg further back. And just push back towards that heel. Feel the stretch in the hip flex and the quad. Zip in your tummy so you're not arching your back. Tuck your tailbone down and then let's hold this stretch for three breaths. So one, two, good posture, chest open, looking forward, and three. Now to resist into this position, tuck under, um, firm your thigh, tilt your pelvis, hold, and then release. Breathe in, breathing out as you hold and you tilt and you firm your thigh, pull it forward, squeeze your muscles, and then release it to stretch one more time, and then pulling it in and release. We're gonna go into a deeper quad stretch now as we grab hold of these toes. If that's able, if you're able to do that, do that. Pull your heel towards your bottom and now bring your knee slightly down. So it shouldn't be forward, bring it down and then see if you can take your leg slightly back. Okay, hold it for three breaths. Nice deep breaths here. One more breath. Now we're always adding resistance to these stretches to get deep into that fascia. So push your foot into your hand. I'm resisting into the foot and then release it back to just a stretch and then add resistance for a full breath. Release. One more time. Add that resistance. Firm your navel to your spine and release. Well done. Let's turn to the other side. So just swivel around on your seat. We've now got our right leg going to the back, right butt cheeks free of the chair, left one's on. Hold with your left arm so you don't fall off the chair. Now take your right leg further back if you can. Let's, let's keep the tailbone down so we're not arching the lower back and zip up your, your zip there at the navel to the spine. And now push this leg back towards your heel and start to feel that stretch in these hip flexor muscles and the quadricep muscles. Push back, keep lifting your chest up and shoulders down so you've got good posture and you're just breathing here we'll do one more deep breath that'll make about three breaths now remembering to resist as we tuck the tailbone and we firm the thigh bring the knee slightly forward firm your muscles release it back to breathe in firm the muscles again you can't really see what i'm doing because it's all inner work so we resisting and then release and one more time Tense the muscles, tense the muscles, and then stretch them again. Now hold on to those toes behind you. If you can reach your foot, you could always use a band if you can't reach the foot. Now try to point your knee straight down to the floor. If you can do some more, pu pull your knee further behind you. If you feel this exercise in your knees, remember it's not for the knee joint, this is for your quads and your hip flexor muscles. So if you're feeling it in the joint, then just back off a bit by bringing your knee forward or coming out of it completely. So we've held that for about three breaths. Now we're going to push the foot into the hand. So push your foot into your hand, resist, release the heel back to the glutes. Push, resist, good. And we've only got one more time, let's push. And release. Well done. The chair work is, is finished. Um, I'll meet you on the floor for the next one.